Okay, so on my Plasma C here, I have a star I'm gonna be cutting out or pretending to cut out. I don't have my CNC table yet. I just have my motor set up. So I have my X, my Y, and my Z here. And I was having a few issues trying to get my float switch to work. Um, and I wasn't realizing that because I didn't read my instructions right, that I needed to either have ground or power to this pin here, um, depending on how you're wiring your switches in. So I have power flowing through my switches at all times. I guess it's better to run your um, limit switches that way. Um, so that's how I have them set up. And when you push your limit switch here, you'll see my lights go off. So it's breaking the circuit. So it's, it's a continuous circuit through here until um, the limit would be hit, then it breaks the circuit. So I was just trying to put power and ground to them and it wasn't working just because I didn't read about that one pin. I, I'm sure I read it, I just forgot. And I wasn't thinking. I have this set up, I have power coming to this rail here. And so these switches just clip on. These are just to kind of hold everything straight and in place. And then all my wires just kind of temporarily wrapped around there just for testing purposes. But this one's actually hooked to my float switch. So that's the one we're gonna be actuating right now as we do this so what we're going to do is we're going to come up over here we're going to turn the power on and we're going to hit cycle start and your z-axis will raise up these will all go to home or where the home where we're going to print and it's going to wait it's going to look for the float switch so we'll hit the float switch and then we'll let it go so now the float switch is zeroed in and now we are starting to cut out that star. And you can see the motors turning. So it took me a while to figure out how to invert uh, this other motor, but I finally figured it out. I was hitting the wrong invert check mark. Uh, maybe I can show that to you guys what I was doing wrong, but I finally got that working right. So I'm happy with that. Happy that I got these switches figured out here for my um, limit switches, but everything seems to be functioning right. Um, it's just, I need to get started on working on that table. So that way I can actually move an axis instead of just moving a motor. But let's get into that program here. Let's go ahead and stop this. We don't need this to go. So we'll just hit cycle stop, power it down. We'll turn it off here. Um, I'm not sure the best way to do this, but what I like to do is just come into here and just reconfigure. I need to learn more about the hell, um, but I don't know that much yet, so we're going to do it this way. So we're going to go to modify. Oh, don't hit back. I hit the wrong button. I was looking at my camera screen. Okay, so modify. And then we go forward. Um, we're going to be messing with this one here. And we hit forward, forward. Oh, in case you didn't know, as far as your E stop on the Plasma C, I think it comes this way. Go ahead and hit this one when you're going, when you're setting up your configuration. That will um, make it so that e-stop buttons on Plasma C on the GUI works. So just go forward, forward here. And once we get here, okay, so as long as you, if you've already set this up, you got your board set in there. So I have all my switches inverted right now. And that's how you need to have them set, I believe. That's how what's working for me right now anyway. But on your motor, so I was clicking on the tandem. I was clicking that one to invert it. That's not the one you need. This is the one that needs to be inverted. You invert this one right here, and that will put your motor where it needs to be. Um, but yeah, other videos showing you how to do a lot of this stuff. Um, go ahead and find those and use those instead of mine because I'm just showing what I had problems with because I'm not the brightest when it comes to this. Um, you don't want to save nothing. But yeah, so I'm happy with that.
it's cold in the shop so i'm gonna get out of here but usually have that thing running down there to keep me a little bit warm still waiting for a few parts but i can get going on this table uh, i'm starting to build the table so i'm going to be doing that here probably this week getting my table done so we'll see how that all goes my gimbal is just acting crazy right now okie dokie well i will see you guys later hopefully with some better updates on this talk to you all later see you next time bye